stuck with an inquiry arc approach to answering this question. What is the frequency in swings per minute if a child swings back and forth 30 times in 100 seconds? Now we have four choices. Now the first thing we're going to do in the IARC model is to make sure we understand the question. So here it is. We're looking for the frequency in swings per minute. And I just go ahead and write that down as F equals question mark. And I remind myself I need it in per minute rather than per second, which would be Hertz. And then I go on to ask what's giving. When I first approach a problem, I think three things in the inquiry stage. Make sure you understand the question and then look at what's given. Here I have 30 times in 100 seconds. And then what principle do I need to know? And here the principle is the definition of frequency. Frequency is the number of times you do something per time frame. So it could be I do something three times a week. I visit my mother two times a month. So anything that involves a number of times and a time frame gets you the frequency when you divide. Say I have, for example, six times I do something in two days, it would be three times in one day. So here I think of it in that fashion. So we're going to go to apply it now and the application would be 30 times in 100 seconds. And notice that I didn't worry about the per minute part. Sometimes it's easier to answer the question with a different, let's say, units here, hertz, instead of per minute, because I can do it so quickly. So if you have 30 in 100 seconds, then that's 3 every 10 seconds, or 3 tenths of a cycle per second, 0.3 hertz. Then I know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. So if you're doing 0.3 of one in a second, if you multiply by 60 seconds, we'll have the amount in a minute. So we do that. And here what I do is I notice that that 60 has that zero with that six. It's six times 10. So you can move that decimal point over for that 0.3, make that three times six. So you're really looking at three times six, and it's 18, 18 per minute. Now, we should reflect on this before we just turn in our answer or circle one or fill in one with the pencil on the Scantron sheet. And here does our answer make sense. So I try to look at it from a different angle. We have 30 swings in 100 seconds is 18 per minute reasonable. Well, here's the different angle. Looking at that, I see that three swings go every 10 seconds. I make the numbers easier. And then I think, well, six swings would take twice as long, 20 seconds. Well, if I do three more swings, I would add 10 more seconds, it'd be 30. If I add three more, it'd be 40 seconds. And finally, here is I work my way up to 18 swings by adding groups of three and 10 seconds at each time, I get a very secure verification that I did it right. It is reasonable. And I'm ready to select the choice, 18.